wild unit to be surrounded by. Hennessy says, Zach might be reluctant to play again. Yo, I really, I hope we play Zach week four. I really do. Yeah. That would make that game so much fun. There's just, it feels like the fan base just wants it. Oh, yeah. I, I think so. Just get your opportunity to be like, oh, yeah, you, <laughs> three years of this. Well, and, and think about it. Like, so would, would Sean Payton, would he think that, you know, like, obviously he's going to play the best, the, the quarterback that looks the best for his team. But would I think he Zach think, should start, honestly. I and think, and I, I think could, Zach should start too. I mean, Bo Nix? I think Bo Nix really? is it. I, I, like, I think they should compete. I think Zach should win the job. And if he doesn't, like, if it's clear that Nix is better, which I don't think is going to be the case, um, Zach's going to start. And then week four early in the season, oh. I want it. <laughs> I want it in the worst way. Yeah. Cause like, so would Sean Payton think that like the Zach motivation to be his revenge would be more enticing than Absolutely. the idea that like Zach coming here and just crumbling under the weight of, of us. Cause it's going to be venomous. Yes. It's, venomous. So he's absolutely, it's a hundred percent like jets are going to tee off, but I also think the opposite is true as well. I think the emotion from the Zach Wilson side of things. Now, if it was in Denver, I think he'd feel a lot more comfortable. But the fact that it's in MetLife with the fans who were booing his ass in New York and this team that just had to kind of go through it. And he kind of threw the defense under the bus with the, oh, did you let your defense down? No, I don't think so. Not saying that it was, I think that was more of like just a slip trying to get out. But like there's going to be that, that storyline. But I think he's also going to want to have his revenge game too. And I think he's just going to play better than Knicks to start the season. So I think I think Zach starts the first like six, seven weeks at least, if not, you know, just the year, if they want to give the redshirt year to Knicks. Yeah, I, I think though, I mean, look, because then there's still Jared Stidham. I don't think um, he's still. Who, I would be surprised. Yeah, but he's, I would be too, but he's still there. He's still in the mix. I yeah. think it's Zach's team this year, man, at least for the mm -hmm. first half of the year. That's what I think. I mean, how could you start Bo Nix over a guy who's uh, who's who's got that much NFL experience? Like, I think mm -hmm. the wisdom is to let Nix kind of simmer. Yeah, that's agreed. the wise move. Let Zach go out there and take the lumps while Bo Nix, you know, because Zach, look, they did, it's not like they picked up his fifth year option. They gave up nothing to get him. Chump change. So yeah. just use him. Use him as a as a punching bag. If if he ends up being great for you, hey, bonus. You know what I mean? Franchise, boom, franchise tag. If you have, I don't yeah. think you'd do that, but because uh, I don't think any team's paying Zach a ton of money. But I do agree. I think that's the that's the rider. You know, hey, this could be awesome. And you didn't have a like a. You got five years with Knicks, so you got some time. And then if Zach does well, you, I mean, you could do a tag and trade. Or you, if you wanted to keep him, if you think that was like the move, or you get a comp pick and he leaves, all positive things for Denver. But he's gonna get his ass kicked <laughs> when he comes to New York. Dude, Quinn and Williams is gonna fucking tear him up. Oh, I'm, I can't I'm wait. telling Quincy you, the Williams, sack, they're gonna Quincy's go. gonna tee off. It, it's gonna be like, dude, this is for three years of utter nonsense. Watching you from the sideline. I'm gonna fucking kill you today. Oh. Yeah, you, you gotta sack him like on the first drive so you can say yeah, that to first him. play. This Save is it. merely the beginning. Put fucking strap up, kid. We just are put, gonna feast. go man up across the board and just say we're sending the house. <laughs> just every player you can. Just go for him. Or you just you know, we we've been watching teams play Zach Wilson the exact same way to mm -hmm. great success for three years. Um, if we don't play him the exact same way, like zero blitz that kid all day mm -hmm. long. What's up guys, Matt O'Leary from Talking Jets. If you liked that video, please make sure to subscribe and follow for more New York Jets content.